I painted that right there, and now there was an electrical fire, and I have the opportunity to go repaint that and make some money. And like, you know, that's my work, and the people, I know them in here, and we wave to each other, and they got families, and they like, you know, they eat like me, and they drink water, and they work, and they like cars and stuff. That's my signs right there. That was my signs in there. I could have did something for these people. I did these, and I did all those on the other side of that, too. I can tell you stories, and I can tell you stuff about all these people, too. Some rich, some poor. That's my customer right there, one of his trucks anyway. Another one. And, like, I did this here. And I know the people. And, you know, it's like, this is years ago I did this. And I did touch up. And, you know, I got, like, four or five other people I paint stuff for. It's not just signs. And, you know, that's like family in there. And now I gotta leave because it sucks around here. And, like, I was stopped right here and had police yelling at me. And I had people like, hey, what are you doing? Well, I'm actually on the ladder with a paintbrush in my hand. And it's like I'm just supposed to deal with that. And I've been stopped a hundred times by fucking cops. And, you know, and I've also been, you know, put in jail and beat up and lie. You know, you look at my fucking record, dude. None of that's me. It's fucking what they put on me. So it's like, now I gotta leave here. My mom was around the corner. And because I got an old Winnebago, oh, you must be going to mess. Or, you know, it says private on my window, so I gotta get out of the parking lot. And police say, yep, you gotta get out of here. So now there's a store that I would go to for 30 years and fucking five stores at one shop center. You know, now I gotta go to five different places. And my mom was around the corner and the stores aren't there. You know, it's like, what? I can't do nothing, man. I've been around this neighborhood for fucking... You know, and some people are just like, oh, you got to do what they say. You got to get out. You know, you got to just, you know, live in a box that we put you in. And it's fucked up, man. You know, I don't even know the people in all these places. I've seen everybody here. And now it's like, okay, I just sat with people I'll probably never see again. Because I don't want to be here, man. This place sucks. Since I've been here one year, I've had, like, fucking eight incidents between security and cops. And, you know, people are just like, oh, it's you, it's you. What am I doing, man? Nothing. So it's like, okay, fuck you, motherfucker. I can't even, like, take care of my customer. You know, because of Mike Sats and Leland Squires and fucking Jorge fucking piece of shit Benitez, you fucking scumbag and Fred Berman, and Catherine Maxie Nelson, and fucking, you know, Ryan Romero's, and fucking The Last Bunch, and fucking Fort Lauderdale. You know, I could give you all kind of names. Rick Scott, Pam Bondi, Bruce Colton. I shouldn't know those fucking names. Those aren't my business. Now, here I go. I gotta leave again. I'm just here for a little work and all this stuff happens. You know, maybe I, maybe I could eat these. Maybe I could eat these. Now, no, I'm not gonna be here no more. I'm not allowed to be here. You know? Fucking 20 years, dude. 30 years. 1986. I painted the shit out of this town. Fuck it, man. Like, it's no big deal, right? It's no big deal. Just go do something else. Go somewhere else. Okay? You know, change yourself. But what did I do wrong? I didn't bother anybody. I don't know. You look suspicious. You know, if we see that, we're going to assume that. What's well, not my problem? Anyway, I'm going someplace better. I wouldn't recommend anything from this in this state. Not even a governor. I wouldn't let anybody that's fucking living and born and raised here rule our country. I'm sorry. You know what? It's not cool. You know, you got to prove yourself as a governor and prove yourself as other things before you get my vote. I don't care what you say. It's what you do. It's what your record is. Right now, my record's better than all those people that are saying I could do this or that. You ain't doing shit. You won't even address these issues. I got news for you. Hey, you, my life doesn't have to take a back seat for you. I'm going to someplace better. And you know what? It does hurt. And there's people that don't understand and are close to me. And it's distance because of it. And you affected that too. And you affected this. You affected the fact that I can't take care of my customer. That's a national company. You know how good that feels to me? But hey, this place sucks because I feel threatened here. Oh, it's all about me. No, man. You know, I want sense of security. I want to be put on the do not detain list. And I want apologies and I want a payoff. Okay, that's what I want. And I want to guarantee that you're going to stay the fuck away from me. Because I had to tell my mom I'm not coming back here. You know what? And that makes me feel good because it takes my anxiety. Is that fair? Is that fair that I should have to do that? You know what? That's like what you did. You know, the world order. The world order. Is that what that is? The world order did that to me? Because the world ordered that? It is what it is, right? Little bird shit, never heard nobody?
Yeah. A lot of dust probably. Try to wipe it off. See, I'm not weak. Anyway. Funny, right? Funny how that is. Those people I mentioned. Mary Red Robinson, I promise. I made a promise. And something delivered you to me. And we I maybe we were delivered on upon to each other, but you know, for what it is, but for what it's worth. You didn't make a mistake. I promise you that. I don't mind being accountable. I don't mind being honest. I'm not gonna pay the price for ignorance and evil ways. Or selfish ways or nothing. And neither should you. And neither should the rest of the state. Or anybody for that matter. And I have to have a fire, because I just saw some people. All well, my friends, most of my friends are older. These people are in their 70s. Probably never see them again. Get the feeling. You know? I don't feel safe here. Why would anybody come back here even for their own mom? It's like, okay. You look at my... You listen to my stories and check them out. And you'll see what I'm saying. You'll see why it is like it is. And you won't blame me. You're wrong. You won't blame me. Sunshine and Gamora. Have another brave day. This has been an artist edition. Go fly.